Certain candidates running for office in Iowa took part in a candidate forum this evening that was hosted by the League of Women's Voters at Western Iowa Tech Community College. Now, Democrat Jackie Smith and Republican Rocky DeWitt are running in Iowa Senate District 1, but DeWitt confirmed to KCAU 9 News earlier tonight that a previous commitment kept him from participating this evening. He told us he never committed to tonight's event, telling organizers two weeks ago he would not be able to attend. Candidates from what is now Iowa House District 2 also were invited to participate tonight. Steve Hansen and Republican Bob Henderson are running for that seat, but Henderson confirmed to KCAU he could not participate because of another commitment. Henderson told KCAU 9 he never committed to the forum. But here is what the candidates had to say tonight when I asked them about the nature of campaign ads this election cycle. With less than 30 days now, we're kind of entering the silly season. <laughs> and sometimes I wonder, like with my opponent, if he thinks he's running for school board, if he's running for Congress, because when you see the ads that somehow I have this like close connection with Joe Biden and I control national inflation and, <laughs> and national gas taxes, like you're, you're running for the wrong one, you know. Um, so it gets a little, a little laughable. But it is also, um, it's not good for this, for anything. It, it is leading to voter suppression. You know, politics has changed. Campaigning has changed from just my time, from 2008 till, till now, it, it does seem much more divisive. We do, we run ads basically just to kind of get our name out there. Um, I still believe the best effective way, we run it to, to be competitive. But for me, uh, you win an election by going to the doors, by talking to the voters was happy to be one of four panelists asked to participate in tonight's event. Now, if you would like to watch it in its entirety, you can visit a link on our website. Of course, that is SiouxLandProud.com. And there's another one tomorrow night if you missed this evening. Tomorrow, we will be asking questions of the candidates running for Woodbury County first and supervisor and also for county attorney.